Hey guys, only here. With Root Negative, and let's get cracking with another Factorio multiplayer episode. Uh, some good fun coming up today, I think. Good fun. Well, uh, what are you working on? Right? What are you doing right here with this uh, splitter un underground belt? Uh, I'm going to double it up. I'm going to double up our okay. um, copper bus just to see if we can get a little bit more throughput. Okay. You know, make it a little bit more chunky. Sounds good to me. Okay, so. We currently have access. Oh, blue circuits require sulfuric acid. I forgot. Yeah. Hmm. So that means we either have to pipe over the sulfuric acid or make the blue circuits over here. Holy crap! I thought I turned that down. There we go. We've got a lot more copper now. Sweet. So we, we do have a tank full of sulfuric acid. Now, if only there was a robot that could pick up liquids. <laughs> Is there one in Ditech? No. Oh. Fortunately oh, not. There's not one in Ditech. Oh, look at that. Oh, gee whiz. That's, that's, that's score one for vanilla. Score 50 million for Ditech. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we, we'll, we'll level you down. Man. We'll, we'll peg you down by the end of it. Vanilla is much, much better than Ditech. Much, much uh -oh. better. It's gotta be. Ditech fanboys. It's gotta be. It's gotta be better. Okay, so I'm thinking, uh, I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter which way we do it. Either way, it's gonna be a long distance, whether we pipe over the sulfuric acid or if we pipe, if we, you know, take over the, yeah. The red, uh, red circuits. Yeah. Although I do like the way our factory, our factory looks right now. It looks pretty nice. It's pretty everywhere. I like how we're getting a lot of backup on the red circuits again. That's always good. Yeah. And if you look... Yeah, we actually do have a lot of... good number of those in the system as well. Network. Yeah, it's heading towards a thousand. So it should get there in the, the next couple of episodes. Did you cut it off at a thousand or two thousand? Oh, two thousand. Yeah, that's right. Okay. So let's. I guess. I guess the best way to get started is to get started. So I'm gonna make some assemblers to get started on this blue circuit production. Now, technically, I can just have the robots take it over there. Now you said that. Yeah. Okay. You have. Wonderful. I what? just need to build a box. Because you've got um, engines um, being boxed up, so I've just mm -hmm. flipped them over to passive providers. Okay. So now I can do and a tank factory. Hopefully. I mean, we only really need two tanks at any one time, right? Oh, it's nice to have a couple. Fifty extra, like <laughs> a garage of tanks. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Hey, man, it's you know, if you want to waste all our resources, that's fine with me. Go ahead. All right. So you did. Ha okay. So you said earlier that you hook it, hooked up the network to the right side of our base, which is where all the oil is, right? Yeah, you did. So now I need to make a couple of assemblers. The only thing I'm worried about is that because of our robots not having the maxed out speed, is that they're going to take forever to get over here. Oh, well, they probably will take forever. Yeah. So is what it is. <laughs> Yeah, it is what it is, I guess. So, I deal with it. Probably should have more than two assemblers, though, making the blue circuits, so. Let's run back and get some more iron. Oh, I have actually, actually, I have iron down here. Never mind. So, the tank build is pretty much up and running. Sweet. What else did we need? Uh, the tank shells. Oh, engines, engines, engines. Of course, we need engines. Gonna do this uh, cross-shaped assemblers. Okay. Where is the network at again? 
up here. So I need to run back over here and get some red circuits so I can make another another uh, robo port. Roger. Steal some from your chest, or a series of Did chests. Did you see, say that we had gear wheels in the logistics network? Iron gear wheels, yes. But you're currently taking all of them. Oh no, you're not. Never mind. I am. Oh, we have. Uh, uh, we have 108, 18. You should be able to request some if you want some. Okay. I'm just requesting some for the tank factory. Okay. Uh. Let's see. Can't get that, can't get that. We have the uh, yellow assemblers now if you want them. Uh, well, it seems that that little build I did down the other way is holding up and doing okay. So, I'm not sure we need them. It's very nice. Oh yeah, I came down for those. I need to get those. Okay, so let me build one of these guys. One should be enough. Uh, let me build a requester chest. this to work. So I'm going to have it in line with the sulfuric acid. It's already there. How could you not have power? There's a power pole right there. <laughs> Jeez. It's not close enough. Down a request chest right here, and then we'll build a cross of assemblers around it. All oh, gonna make uh, blue circuits. And I want the sulfuric acid to come on the outside. What are you cackling about? Uh, these robots that just trekked across the entire continent to give me some <laughs> some iron gear wheels. <laughs> uh, loyal, aren't they? Yep. Come on, bug. All right. So you need green, red, and sulfuric acid. So let's say green, hundred, red. Just making so, a, a nice little build over here that's going to take care of our uh, all of our box needs. Box needs? Box needs. Like like literal boxes? Yeah. No. Oh, okay. So it's going to make all the um, red, blue, and storage chests that we oh, need. Okay. do is I'm going to restrict it on the input so that it's a little bit more accurate and we're going to build 20 of each box. Sounds good. Actually it's not far enough. Uh, here, here, here. Okay. It's 
especially a build I've done quite a few times. I came up with it, I don't know when, but it seems to work, so I st I've stuck with it. Hey, what, if it works, right? Why change it? Hmm. Guess you all have sulfuric acid, now you all need red circuits, so... so I'll give you guys some output chests. Really? What the hell? What's wrong? Yeah. This is just going to go nuts for a moment while it um, buffers up. But oh, you just got uh, muted. What's going on? Oh, it's desyncing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's desyncing pretty heavily. What'd you just do? I didn't touch anything. You just said it was going to go crazy, and it went crazy. <laughs> well, I meant the build, not the actual computer oh, okay. game, but anyway. Oh, this carpools. is so cool. I love how the different color boxes are just coming down the line and then being boxed up. Now, because the blue circuits need like 8 million <laughs> green circuits per craft, Gonna have a lot of robots coming over here. Ooh, okay. Uh huh. I'll replace these guys with the smart inserters because I don't want to make infinite blue circuits. Uh, what's the deal with the red circuits? I thought the red circuits were part of the network. Well, they should be. Unless they're all preoccupied with green circuits, it's always possible. Looks like they're all preoccupied with green circuits right now because they're going to carry two at a time. Will there be more then? I just jumped, uh, I'll drop down about 20 of them. Sweet. And how many blue circuits do we want in the network at any one time? Oh, a thousand. 2,000? Oh, 1,000 sounds good to start with, because 2,000 sounds like it's going to take forever. <laughs> no worries. 1,000. Here we go, job start Dunsky. Come on, why did you not copy? Copy, there you go. You're good, you're good, okay. Again, why is nobody bringing me red circuits? Nice. Alright, let's go for... Uh, I guess this one. Fusion so reactors. Yeah. <laughs> Available robots. Four out of 142. Mm-hmm. Okay, these are passive provider chests. So, passively provide them to me. Jeez. <laughs> it's taking you so long. <laughs> It's like nobody even cares that I asked for them. I did, I asked for them, didn't I? Jeez, let me let me go double check to make sure I didn't like not ask for them. I could have done that. What's that? Forgot to ask for them in the first place. All right. Oh yeah, I thought I did. I could have sworn I clicked. No, I did. This is BS. Desync. I blame desync. <laughs> Give me 100 red circuits, please. Thank you. Oh, our crude oil is getting kind of low. Yeah? Really? Yeah. Yeah, the oh. tank's almost empty. We'll have to throw so down another it's, like, it's, it's pretty much empty, yeah. So I'll, I'll, I'll throw one down. All right. I'm just going to stamp some more power, power plants. 
because we've probably saved up enough uh, to do that. Uh, where is my fish net? I don't know why I think it's funny that, like, it's such, such a long trek for these guys that they have to, like, stop and take breaks at the uh, the nearby uh, <laughs> RoboPorts. Well, drive for so me. used to having the, you know. I'm so, I'm used to having the ones from Ditech that have, like, you know, all this internal buffer storage. Oh, right. They have, so like, the Mark 1 and Mark 2 robots. Oh, okay. So what, the Mark 2 can fly further? Yeah, there's, there's vanilla and then there's Mark 1 and Mark 2. The Mark 1 and Mark 2 can fly faster, basically. They each fly. They each fly significantly faster for each tier. Yep. And they can, by default, carry more. Okay. And they have better charge, more charge, and they have robot ports, Mark One and Two, which have bigger areas. See, that tech's not so bad, huh? Yeah. No, it should be called Level Tech. It's like oh yeah, Mark, <laughs> should Mark be level Two. Tech. Mark. Mark oh, good one. I see. I see what you did there. Mark Two. Get it. <laughs> I say nothing. And why are you not going? Oh, because you have oh. So our okay, so our crude oil is a crude oil is okay now, but we're actually full on petroleum. That's why three of our refiners are not going. I think that my emergency power supply thing isn't working. Why do you say that? Because the steam engines are on. Should they, should they be, or you're saying they shouldn't be on? No, they shouldn't be. Let's go check it out. Yeah, all of your uh, inserters are grabbing fuel. Hmm. Possibly not as it should be. I mean, you are charging. Yeah, you're charging that accumulator with the steam engines. Hmm, that's not how it should work. Yeah. Something's on there. I need to suss it out. Is that right? This thing, yeah. Okay. Like I've seen this before, but basically, once the accumulator runs out, it'll stop picking up the wood, and then it'll turn on the steam engine. Start to turn them on. Yeah, that's the theory. But I've clearly done something wrong. I just need to spend the time trying to puzzle out what the hell I've done. <laughs> uh, right now I'm just stamping down a whole heap more um, solar panel capacity. Okay. Uh, we're going to pretty much double it, I think. Now, I have four assemblers making the blue circuits. I mean, we can add more if we need more, but for right now that's what I put down. These guys are missing what? You're missing smart inserters it's only because it's slow to get them, that's all. This should be okay. Radio, I think it's time we uh, we took a quick break. I'll uh, I'm gonna run up to where you are and see if I can puzzle out what the hell went wrong with my emergency steam backup. Okay, sounds good.